going on guys? It's TJ and this is another episode of THC and NFTs. Thank you guys for tuning in. Um, before we get into the video, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button, you know, uh, throw a thumbs up. It really helps out my videos. So before we dive too deep into the video, I'm going to dive a little deeper into this. Come on. A little bit of diamonds. Some good stuff. All right, guys. <coughs> so on today's episode, I want to talk to you guys about aftermarket NFT. Uh, aftermarket NFT is <coughs> the work of Brian Sum. And from a little bit of researching that I've done, <coughs> he is a digital artist. Um, <coughs> he's worked with a uh, worked on Mass Effect and a, and a few other projects. His art. His art is phenomenal. So <coughs> let's get straight into the. All right, guys. And like I said, um, we're going to get straight into uh, Brian Sum's aftermarket NFT. So first, let's take a look at we'll, we'll go. We'll go to his, the website. So here's aftermarket uh, his website, uh, Cyberpunk NFT collection. Uh, Pre-launch is launching February 4th and the public launch. It's February 7th. So this is going to be a first for me. Uh, I've never minted a card collection NFT. Um, now, don't get me wrong. I've done block packs and other stuff like that. But I only worked with the free stuff that they gave me. I've never actually minted anything yet. Um, but this collection really stands out to me. I feel like this NFT is definitely a sleeper project. Um, from what I've seen in their Discord and on their Twitter, they don't have... It, this community doesn't have that many followers yet, but this project, I mean, this project is really in depth. What is Aftermarket? Aftermarket is a cyberpunk NFT card collection with a variety of ways to collect to win rewards and prizes. As the community grows, this will unlock the NFT's full utility as live assets in the future video game. So that right there is pretty cool. Um these NFTs are potentially going to be live assets in a video game. All right, guys, let's go over their, uh, their, their fact channel. So what is Aftermarket? Aftermarket is an NFT collectible card game set in Cyberpunk Universe. Each card is meticulously hand-drawn and resides in the OpenSea platform as an NFT or non-fungible token on the Ethereum blockchain. Collect the card set or subsets to earn rewards. As the community grows, this will unlock the NFT's full utility as a live asset in the future video games how many cards will be released there'll be a total of 200 cards released throughout four seasons with three month gaps between each season the season one genesis launch will introduce the first 30 cards the rarity of each card will never change as we won't add new additions to any cards when will the cards be released uh so now this has changed the cards are going to be released in february as i just showed you guys how much do the cards cost so this is their so they're gonna have three different card packs uh, a five card pack a three card pack and a two card pack and for the premium pack it's gonna be 0.4 eth and you're guaranteed five cards and you're, gu you're guaranteed one elite one rare one fresh card one common card or i mean two common cards uh, in the fresh pack it's a pre pre launch price of 0.12 and a public price of 0.13 and there is a 12% chance you'll get a rare card, a 65% chance you'll get a fresh card, and 23% chance you'll get a common card. Um, the starter packs, there's two cards in the starter pack, and 5% chance you'll get a fresh, 95% chance you'll get a common, uh, 0 0.046, and then 0 0.055 for public. So it looks like there's a price range for just about everybody to get in on this NFT. I really want to get an elite card. Um, 0.4 is a little out of my budget. I might have to put a little money aside and save up hopefully before February 4th, but this is coming real fast. I really think this project is going to go through the roof and you'll understand more why when I, 
when I show you some of the art. So right here, the premium pack, how it shows 100% an elite card. That's pretty important. And the reason why is, is right here. So one of, one of the, I guess, uh, merch or things you can win is a limited signed art book and a standard edition art book also signed. But if you own at least one elite, you get you you get a, a limited edition art book. So I mean that's that's reason right there to mint the five pack, you know. But I'm not a financial advisor. Don't take it from me. Um, don't take it from me. It's it's definitely though what I would like to mint because I, I really want one of these standard edition or limited edition art book. I think you guys might want one too when you guys see see some of the art. Also, you can win uh, limited edition cards. And it looks like these are very, very limited. There's one in 25, one in 25, one in 25, one in 25. Um, and then you even got down to here, you got the... So there, there are different categories, supersets. So that means you have to, you know, collect certain things in that category um, from what I from what it looks like so the fresh superset these are all the fresh cards I believe and I I'm pretty sure you're not going to be able to uh, complete these sets before all four seasons are minted this is a great idea I, I love this version of collectibles and the fact that it's going to be turned into a game that's that's really cool. So um, let's take a look at the roadmap. So phase one, season one card drop. 50% uh, sold, 50% of proceeds are reserved for video game, 15% of proceeds towards art book, 50% towards team exp expansion. Then there'll be monthly challenges right after 25% sold, 25% uh, of proceeds received, reserved for video game, 25% proceeds towards marketing budget. Then after 50%, 35% of proceeds reserved for video game, 25% of proceeds towards marketing, 75%, 50% of proceeds reserved for video game, at 100%, 70% of proceeds reserved for video game. Unlock phase two equals game development moves forward with reveal of white paper. So after 100%, so after this thing mints out and sells out, he's going to release phase two. And I'm really curious to see what type of video game this this guy's doing because this art looks looks amazing so he's fully doxxed here's his instagram uh the aftermarket instagram uh, not brian's but the aftermarket and the art here looks phenomenal it kind of gives me like a super futuristic cyber realm uh type vibe and where was it? i know somewhere in the lore so Here's, here's the story of aftermarket. In, in the year 2144, the human race had finally... Hold on, guys. You know what? I'm slipping. Let, let me... All right, now it's an episode. In the year 2144, the human race had found itself near the point of extinction. Wars, famine, climate change, and near depletion of all natural resources, you name it, humans have knack for self-destruction. After years of failed attempts, a technology breakthrough had finally been achieved, allowing humans to transfer their conscious into cores, synthetic bodies designed to replace their human counterparts. With time running out, this proved to be the only option for, the human, for humanity's survival. Those fortunate enough to be put into cryogenic sleep until this breakthrough remain the only survivors to receive the transfer. Thanks to this, the human race survived and even thrived. Hooray! Let's hope they don't screw things up again. Fast forward 200 years later, through this next step in human evolution, the definition of being a human has since been revised. Human flesh and bones have been replaced by mechanical parts with, with infinite makes and models to choose from. Hence, a bustling market economy where one can buy parts to upgrade or repair remains the beating heart of this ecosystem. But in this unforgiving new world, it costs a pretty penny just to stay linked to your core. Hustle in order to survive and often doing dirty jobs is what gets you paid. Eat or be eaten, as the saying goes. Do the job, get paid, upgrade your parts, rinse, repeat. 
Come join us in this cyberpunk adventure as each new card released will reveal new characters and details of the universe they live in. Welcome to the aftermarket. So that's that's really fucking cool, and I'm really looking forward to this game. Uh, these are little alpha drops right here. Hustle in order to survive and often doing dirty jobs. Do a job, get paid, upgrade your parts, rinse, repeat. And that sounds like you'll be able to play in this game and actually earn NFTs or earn tokens or something, you know, to be able to upgrade your game. Uh, that's, that's sweet. I love that. All right. So this is Brian Sum's creative website right here, uh, briansum.com. Here's some of his, his sketch work. This dude is a badass artist. And here's some of the stuff he's done for Mass Effect. It looks like uh, some of the weapon. Yeah, I I'm really stoked, you know, to be a part of this, you know. And if you look at his at their Twitter, there's only 1,400 people uh, following this Twitter. It, it's I feel like there's not enough hype for this project because I think this project's going to be big. Um, it looks beautiful. The art looks great. And Brian sounds like he knows what he's doing. Um, the guy's, you know, not afraid to put himself out there and dox himself and let everybody know who he is. So I want to talk real quick about some of the, the the cards, or I guess the categories and rarities of the cards, as he as he puts it. So, um, so right, oh no, no, right here. I'm not sure if you guys can see this. Here, let me take myself out a little. All right. So there's going to be four different uh, editions, as it looks right here. And uh, it's common, fresh, rare, and elite. And as you can see, the numbers get pretty thin. Um, I'm not sure. I'm, yeah, this has got to be for the first initial uh, season drop. So there, there might be a few more elite after the next three seasons come out. But that's a pretty thin number. So I think 0.4 is a fair asking price. Um, as you can see, the categories range from core, heavy, gear, weapon, ride. So there's a lot of different possibilities for what you can mint. And all these things are hand-drawn. Uh, he hand-drew all these, I, I, I guess. And I, I don't know. His, his art looks great. The project looks great. The idea is great. It's great. It's great. Uh, right here is uh, some of the art from uh, that he's posted on his Twitter page. This is a desert storm, and I guess the colors down here in the corner, and there's the uh, category right there. It gets gear, ge uh, gear, gear, gear. There's gear, and I believe this color means oh, right there. It says fresh. Ooh, fresh. All right, so that's how you can see that, and let's see. We got an elite weapon right here. The ultrasonic. <coughs> uh, cranking up. Track three, Killing Me Softly was his song. Tore out their hearts from their insides. Woo! So that thing looks pretty deadly. Uh, if you guys want to, you know, get involved and join this community and check out uh, Aftermarket, I'll, I'll make sure I leave a link in my description to their Discord as long as, as well as their Twitter, their website, and, and all the other links I can find for uh, Brian and Aftermarket. Because I, I really think this would be a smart move to get in. And again, I am not a financial advisor. I do not. I'm not trying to offer financial advice. These are just my opinions. I always recommend always doing your own research before. I really think this this is a great project. So I'm I'm fully behind aftermarket. I can't wait to see what it does. It looks awesome. The idea is awesome. I can't wait to see some sneak peeks of the game. So thank you, Brian. You know, can't wait to mint. I'll definitely be there February 4th. So Good job, guy. So that's all that I really got for you guys today. Uh, I just wanted to show you guys this project because I definitely think it's a sleeper project. Um, I really think it's it's always better to get in early, especially if he's going to have four more 
or three more seasons, who knows, you know, what these these cards may go for later on. But I definitely want to be a part of this, get that signed book, and check out the game. So I'm gonna think I think I'm gonna be here for the hold. So alright guys, until next time. This is TJ with THC and NFTs. Please make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment, you know, do all that fun stuff. And until next time, guys, I hope you guys have a great day. Peace out.